video, I'm going to talk about power and battery management. And what we're going to start by doing is to just disable the main generator. And I'm going to do something that I would generally recommend not doing, which is to have the batteries basically in every single system where it starts out. So ordinarily, if you've seen my original tips and tricks video, I do talk about the fact that you should really have batteries only in these essential systems, ones like the uh, the oxygen management, the uh, carbon dioxide scrubber, and of course the heat management uh, system up here. Uh, what happens with all of these other systems, so I'm going to open these up and the batteries will drain at uh, different rates. But uh, So the main computer is a very good example. This actually uses a lot of power and it's important to remember just in general in terms of if you want to manage power but you should definitely never have a battery in here. Um, you can look up the codes if you need to, if you have error codes on other systems. Uh, this is really a waste of power. The same thing is true for things like the emergency lights, which you have a flashlight available, so you really don't need this. Um, this will drain very slowly, but it doesn't really matter. It is a waste of power. You don't need to have a battery in there. Uh, and you'll see that even the repair system, uh, sorry, actually, this is the wrong one. Even the repair system, this is draining the battery. We're not using this for anything right now. So all of this, uh, you know, I'll talk about how you can charge the batteries. But the most important thing is that prevention is better than cure. So I, I didn't actually show you the battery in the gravity generator, but gravity just went out. So that basically just gave out as well. And as I said, Basically, you just want to keep the batteries in the essential systems because it can be such an issue in game to recharge the batteries. And I'll show you in a second why that's the case, that it is better to just use the batteries in the absolute essential systems when you need to use them and remove them from all of the other systems. So I'm just going to let all of the batteries run out and then we will come back and look at how to deal with that. Okay, so we're going to start charging up the batteries now. The first thing I will say is that, uh, so where are we on the main uh, temperature? So we want to we want to disengage this. We don't want to use the main computer because it takes too much power. And now we can take the batteries and put them in here. Now, this is where the important part comes in. So first of all, this is going to take an incredible amount of power. So look at where the blue line is currently. So the atomic pile is not generating nearly enough energy. And, and this up here, it's showing how much temperature it would actually need in order to meet this power demand. So it is a lot. Now, where you want to be careful is as this heats up, it will actually output more power. And there's a limit to how much the systems can take. So if you take that battery out while the system is switched on, it will cause a power surge that's actually going to damage some of your systems. So uh, one thing that you could do if you want to keep an eye on that, uh, and let's just get back over to this, is just have a look at um, the power transformer itself. Uh, if that starts glowing red, that means that um, it's becoming an issue and you, you may want to swatch, uh, switch that out. You'll also see that I was kind of hot swapping this. That's because when the power output is high, you want to immediately get the other battery in so that this keeps drawing power and you don't get that surge that could uh, cause damage to some of the other systems. So let's just monitor things here. So you can see the temperature is going up and eventually if we keep charging batteries, we will get to a point where temperature in the pod is going to be a problem. And in all of this, what you've got to keep in mind is I'm playing in sandbox right now. There are no events going on. Under normal circumstances, you'd have to do this while you're dealing with events and you have some systems that are potentially already broken. So in reality, in the game, you don't really ever get opportunities to recharge all of your batteries in the way that I'm doing it right now. So we'll just swap this one out as well. Let's see if we can do one more, but you can see that the uh, temperature is becoming a problem. Um, let's see if this system is still on. The monitor is not on, so I'm, I'm not sure if, I don't think the temperature is being regulated because it is climbing and very soon it will be a problem. So we'll swap one more in. There we go. Now this is the most important part. If you look at the, the power output now, it's quite high. If I take that battery out without uh, doing anything else, it will cause damage to multiple systems. 
and uh, and okay, the temperature is a problem. So basically, what we need to do is immediately switch this off, and now you can safely remove the battery without it causing damage to the other system. So we'll take this out. Yeah. So really, that's all there is to it. Uh, I mean, it's it's basically two main tips in terms of batteries and power management. The first one is just don't waste the batteries if you don't need to. It is one of the most important resources in the game. And the second one is if you do need to recharge multiple batteries, just uh, keep in mind that the main computer does take a lot of power. So it might be a good idea to switch that off while you're doing it. And if you have increased the temperature here, just make sure that you do switch off this uh, main generator before you take the battery out, because otherwise you'll unnecessarily cause damage to the systems. But that's all there is to it for this one. If you have learned anything from the game or playing it in terms of how to manage batteries and power, um, please do leave some uh, tips and comments in the comment section. I'm always interested to know. And of course, if you do like these kinds of videos, uh, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.